So, Miss, uh, Genesis Jones, you... You shaved your head. That's an interesting choice for a girl. And what's that supposed to mean? So it's okay for a man to shave his head, but not a woman, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Please don't take offense. All I meant was nothing. I like it. It's... Okay, you can just say thank you. Maybe I don't want to say thank you. Maybe I didn't enjoy the compliment. Oh, well, then I apologize for offending you. Whatever. Um, perhaps we could start over. If you want to, it's your session. You're the doctor. Yes, well, all right then. I am the doctor. My name is Dr. Max Sparks, and I'm a behavioral psychiatrist here. Oh, goody for you. What do you want, a cookie? No, they handed out the cookies along with the diplomas. Yeah, well, no surprise there. So why do I have to talk to you like this? They said, based on your past experience with computers and your lack of, shall we say, communication skills, this would be best for you. Lack of communication skills? What's that supposed to mean? Well, how you tend to just stop speaking mid-sentence? How you sometimes just can't speak at all? The speech disfluencies? Um, yeah, but I can type, right? Exactly. And that's why we're doing it like this. Because with a keyboard, you're as articulate as the average person. Even more so, in fact. Great, I'm articulate. A fat lot of good that got me in life. It still can. You're still young. Come on, doctor, it's over for me. Let's face it. And it has been for some time. What are you talking about, Genesis? You're only 22 years old. You have so much life ahead of you. I don't know. I just have a feeling that once you've been in a place like this, you're always just going to be known as that. Even if only to yourself. What do you mean, Genesis? Known as what? Known as the family nut? The crazy lady? The one locked up and put away in the psych ward? Come on, that is not true. You'll be known as the one who got help and is now getting better. Yeah, right, Doc. Sure. So, why do you have such little faith in our program, then? Well, let's just say that I don't have much faith in programs and institutions. Hey, Jen. How's it going? Are you as beautiful as you were yesterday or more? I'm counting on the latter. Oh, Arnie, you're so sweet. I need to be careful around you. <laughs> now, why is that? Because I'm dashing? Because I'm charming? Because I know how to wear a suit? Yeah, that all may have something to do with it. Well, you aren't so bad yourself. You know, since the moment I saw you standing there by that rack of potato chips, I just knew there was something extraordinary about that girl. Oh, something extraordinary or extraordinarily lost? Hey, come on. It's okay. I was lost once, too. No, you don't understand, Arnie. You really don't want to get involved with me. You've been really sweet this last month, and you've listened to all of my problems, all my history of trauma. Bless your heart. But seriously, save yourself. I'm a mess. Well, I have a mop you can use. Um, what do you mean? There's this group that I found, Genesis. They've changed my life completely. A group? You know, I used to be a whole lot like you. Oh? Yeah. Lost, confused, broken. Until someone came along and showed me the way. The new way. The new way? That's right. They are an amazing group, and they have a chapter right here in Ashland. I haven't heard of it. Is it like a social club or something? Um, something like that. It's not, like, some weird religious thing, is it? <laughs> no, not at all, Jin. As a matter of fact, we eschew all forms of religion. We? Yeah. Why don't you come with me tonight and check it out? It's very informal, just to hang out. Um... No pressure or anything. Well, sure, why not? I mean, what else do I have to do? So, that's how it starts, huh? Of course that's how it starts, Doc. That's what these people do. They prey on you when you're at your lowest. Well, that seems pretty low to me. Yeah, well... But how did it progress so quickly? I mean, you were already concerned about it being some type of religion. Weren't you on your guard? Yes, of course I was, and that was the insidious thing. It just sort of happened slowly. Explain. Well, these people sort of become your family in a weird way. Especially when you're like me and you don't have much of a real one. So you don't have a relationship with your family? 
Um, we have a relationship, as in we talk and speak, but that's about it. It's all surface. If it gets any deeper than that, here come the fireworks. I see. And you think that's why you fell in with these people? Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of problems. I was a really messed up person. Would you like to go into that a little bit? Uh, do I have to? No, you don't have to. But I do think that it would be beneficial for our therapy. Our therapy? I thought it was my therapy, Doc. Yes, well, I consider it more of a group effort, a partnership, if you will. Yeah, sure. So you're saying that I can trust you, is that it? Absolutely. Whatever you say to me will strictly fall within the bonds of doctor-patient confidentiality. And yet you work for the hospital. Um, well, I do work for the hospital. I have my own practice. But they'll do what you say. They'll follow your recommendations, right? Based on what I say in our sessions? That's right. I suppose so. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Look, if you aren't comfortable talking about the trauma, we don't have to. It's nothing special. Boring suburban trauma. Bad men, bad times. I see. Well, maybe we can get into it later. It was an old boyfriend, okay? The boyfriend I was with right before I met Arnie. Okay, and does this boyfriend have a name? Let's just call him Phil. Okay. And was Phil a problem in any way? Uh, a problem? Yes, was he abusive? Well, define abusive, doctor. Inflicting a pattern of cruelty upon something or someone. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, yes, I see. Well, I deal with that a lot in my practice. It's a very common dynamic in relationships, unfortunately. Yeah, well, so did the new way. And when I met Arnie, and he was so nice to me, like the sweetest guy I'd ever met, actually. It was easy to just be swept up in it all. Until... what? Until the past came knocking in the form of the aforementioned Phil. So, look whose number I finally got my hands on. I told you it would only be a matter of time before I found you, girly. Oh, hello, Phil. How are you? Uh, well, I'm pretty good now that I got you right where I want you. It's so great to hear from you. I think about you often, you know. Oh, um, you do? That's right. I think about everything that happened between us and how the stars aligned to bring us together and take us apart. Oh, uh, the stars, huh? Yes, the stars see all. They're the only thing that does, and we come from stars. And those who seek to will become stars again. Uh, Genesis, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, Phil, I know how it must sound. Uh, crazy, right? All this talk of stars. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Here I am trying to threaten you and be scary, and you're being all freaky. You don't need to threaten me, Phil, for I no longer feel fear. Uh, what? How's that? The new way has taught me not only how to forgive, but how to relinquish the natural fears that had been driving me. Wait a minute. The new way? That's a cult, isn't it? Oh, no. The new way isn't a cult. It's simply a new way of projecting consciousness. You really should come to one of our meetings sometime, Phil. You of all people would benefit from it. No. I heard about this from Eagle. He was in the can with this guy who was all into it, trying to recruit guys in there. How'd you get hooked up in all of this, Genesis? Did some dude recruit you or something? Who was he? What's his name? Oh, Arnie? Yes, Arnie's the one who showed me the way. You should meet him. I'm sure that he would love to meet you. Yeah, well, I would love to meet him. So, this Phil somehow tracked you down for the express purpose of... What, inflicting more abuse on you? Of course, Phil is a deranged friggin' psychopath, or should I say, was. And you tried to facilitate a meeting between him and Ani? Yeah, because I had been brainwashed into believing that I needed to evangelize to every single person I talked to. Never miss an opportunity to recruit. Yes, exactly. It was pushed on us more than anything. Be a witness for the way, above all else. And in that state of mind, there was no way I could have understood what Phil was really planning. Of course, before or after, it would have been plain as day. You mean, to hurt Arnie. To hurt Arnie, or worse. And then swoop in and rescue me like a knight in shining armor. 
only to put you right back into a situation that you'd need rescuing from again. Yeah, well, that was the old me. So, did Phil come to the meeting? He came to the meeting, acted all interested, even requested a private follow-up with Arnie, of course. A private follow-up. Hello there, Phil. It's so nice to talk to you today. I was so happy to see you at our meeting the other night. Yeah, well, it was a really interesting meeting, I have to say. So you wanted to follow up with me? Did you have any questions about our way? I would love to answer any of them that you have. Chins. Well, hopefully I have a few answers. Well, here's one for you. How do you believe this stuff? Um, what do you mean? I mean all of this crap about becoming stars when we die. How can you believe that stuff? How did you hear about that? Uh, what do you mean? I heard about it at that stupid meeting the other night. No, no you didn't. We didn't discuss that at the meeting. There was absolutely no mention of the stars at the meeting. Oh, well, uh, I guess I made it up then. You are not at the level to know that. You are not even a member. Well, I do know about it, so what the hell are you going to do about it, Arnie? Listen, that is very sensitive information. I'll need you to sign a confidentiality agreement. Yeah, you give me a confidentiality agreement, and I'll take it to the bathroom and wipe my butt with it. <gasps> what is wrong with you? Genesis was right about you. You are a rude, crude man. Oh, I'm crude? You're an abusive drunk. Uh, yeah, well... Uh, right. I've got you there, now don't I? Well, you're an abusive cult! And you believe a bunch of stupid stuff, and I'm going to tell everyone about it! No, you can't do that, Phil. It's very sensitive information. How about I make a little deal with you, Arnie boy? A little old trade-off. A trade-off? What do you mean? What are you referring to? I keep my mouth shut about your little religion. It's not a religion. We eschew all religious practices. And you hand the girl over to me. Ugh. I think not. Genesis is a very valuable asset to us. We're not going to just hand her over to you. Oh, yeah? An asset, huh? That's right. A young, beautiful girl like her, with that face, with that hair, she could recruit hundreds, thousands. So, it was all about her looks this whole time, huh? And what was it about for you, Phil? True love? Of course it was. I love that woman. And is that why you abused her? Why you treated her like trash, like garbage? No, that's not how it was. Is that why you drove her into the arms of me? Into the loving bosom of the new way? Hey, you better watch it, buddy. I was coming for Jen, but now I'm making you my number one priority. You and your stupid little way. You understand me, son? I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, that was just the kind of guy that Phil was. So, is it true what Arnie said about the New Way having big plans for you? I didn't know it at the time, but yes. They were planning on making me their superstar spokesgirl. The face that was going to take the way mainstream. And how were they planning on doing that? Any way they could, but most importantly, social media. Well, I suppose that is the best way to spread nonsense and propaganda these days. It's tried and true, but of course, they were planning all sorts of stuff. And Phil was becoming a threat to all of that. And of course, just like always, he was too stupid to realize how dangerous what he was doing was. Where were you living at the time? I was living with Arnie, but we weren't a couple. It was strictly a mentorship thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, gross, I know, but when Phil found out, well, that was it. Genesis, I cannot believe this. Oh, hey, Phil, how are you? I heard that you talked to Arnie. Did you two have a pleasant conversation? Will you be coming to another of the meetings? Listen, Jen, I want to know what the heck you're doing living with that cultish little creep. Are you, like, marrying that geek or something? Oh, Arnie and I get married? No, no, not at all. We in the New Way don't subscribe to the ethos of marriage. Yeah, 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 I know. All I'm asking is if you two are doing it. Um, well, no, Phil. Yeah, well, I don't believe it. But I cannot tell a lie. It would be part of... What, the way? Hey, Newsflash, Jen, you're in a cult. What? I I am not. It isn't a cult. Uh, yes, it is. You've just been, I don't know, brainwashed by them. Don't you see that? Oh, what, just like how you brainwashed me into staying with you for all these years? 
What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I forgive you, Phil, but that doesn't change the past. All right, that's it. I'm coming up to that apartment and dragging you out of there. You're going to some hospital or something where you can get well. No, Phil, I'm not going anywhere with you. And I'm not at the apartment anyway. Oh, sure, like I believe that. The cult member tells me she isn't home. I'm telling you I'm not home, Phil. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Hey, Jen, is everything okay? Um, hey, Arnie, I don't know, I guess. You guess. That doesn't sound up to code. Do you need to come in and have your crystals be refined? Uh, maybe later. Tell me what's bothering you. Well, it's Phil, of course, but I'm sure that you already knew that. Uh, yes. I had a feeling. It's just that he is such a terrible person. Yes, he clearly is. I have to say, even I didn't enjoy speaking with the man. And I am a level later now. Well, I'm just... Frankly, the fear is beginning to return. The fear? You mean, you aren't scared of him, are you? He's out for blood. Yours, for sure. Hmm. And he came to the apartment today, I guess. But I wasn't home. I see. But I don't know, it was weird. Despite how terrible he is, some of the things that he was saying were kind of good points. Good points? Like what? Well, uh, I don't know if I should say. Go ahead, Jin. I showed you the way. You know that I can help you with any concerns that you may have. Well, it's just, do you ever have any, you know, doubts? Doubts? Doubts about what? Um, you know, about the way, about what it really is. I'm sorry, what it really is? I mean, you know, do you ever wonder if it's a cult? I see. Well, I suggest you come in for some crystal refinement right away, Genesis. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe I'll take a break on that for a while. Genesis, I suggest that you come in now. Um, right. I'll see you later, Arnie. So was that the day that you left? No, not for good. There was another month of threats followed by another three of slow disillusionment. It just got progressively worse, and finally... I just ran. You ran all the way to the other side of the country. Yep, I had to do it. It was the only way to get away from them. And have you heard from Arnie? Has he tried to come looking for you? Have I heard from Arnie? Is that supposed to be some kind of a joke? Well, uh, I don't know. Is it funny? More like ironic. I had to change my number and get a new phone immediately. Although, that was going to be the plan anyway. And what about Phil? Did you hear from him? Um, no. No, what do you mean? The last time I talked to him was when he said he was going to the apartment. The apartment that I wasn't at. The apartment that I shared with Arnie. Oh, my. Yeah, well, I guess Arnie was kind of asking for it in the end, although I guess I owe him one, don't I? In a sense, I suppose, but it was him who put you in this state to begin with. Remember that? You're right, Doc. But I don't understand. Won't Arnie send people to come looking for you now? I mean, you know all of their secrets. Yeah, I suppose he would. But what about your name? Are you just living here out in the open, hiding in plain sight? Doctor, do you really think my name is actually Genesis? Oh, it's... it's not? No, I checked myself in under a fake name, of course. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. So, what's your real name, then? Sorry, Doc. I like you a lot, but I don't trust you yet. All right, then. At least tell me, why did you choose Genesis as your alias? Because this is only the beginning. Under Dr. Max Sparks' recommendation, Genesis was soon released from the hospital. She immediately went underground and is now plotting the complete and total decimation of the New Way organization. Arnie is still recruiting new members every day, and still scouring the country for any sign of Genesis. Phil was never seen or heard from again, and a police investigation found nothing. <laughs>